and victories for 100 Thieves, very important for them going 2-0 this week as well. Here is a tweet from Papa Smithy uh, regarding the week from 100 Thieves. It was a very good one for them. Uh, they, Papa Smithy, of course, the general manager of 100 Thieves. Uh, they achieved their first 2-0 week of the spring split. Uh, they had wing, um, and here's the tweet right here. Super happy with today's game and the first 100 Thieves 2-0 weekend of 2020. Today showcased the things that we've been working on in practice. Thanks for the patience, 100 Thieves fans. Hope to continue to prove it was worth it. Papa Smithy, a great mind. We all know this. Uh, him as a general manager is new. Certainly, this is still his first split. Um, but as we take a look at the 100 Thieves uh, KDA from this past weekend as well, well, um, Tyler, 100 Thieves impressed a lot of people this weekend. Do you think it's enough, though? Have they uh, leapfrogged in your rankings? Do you see them as a better team now, or do you still think that there is uh, uh, some challenges in this squad? I still think this team lives or dies by one man and one man only. His name is Someday. Uh, at his best, Someday is the... I, I don't even think there's an equal to him. I think he's the best top laner by far in North America when someday's on his game. People forget that it was only two years ago where I, I think many people said he was one of the top maybe five players in the entire world. It was him versus Smeb in South Korea. That was a big storyline of, you know, these two giants. He was an MVP in South Korea. And then he came over here and he, you know, he found some success, you know, then went to the academy last year, which was a disaster. You should never put someday in academy. That was just silly. But finally, he's been given the chance to kind of have his own team. They're playing towards someday. They know someday is a win condition and he's playing like it. And when, it, when you have a player like someday who can just kind of be better than everyone else on the field, there's only a few of those players in the LCS, then you can you can go far. And I think for uh, 100 Thieves as a whole, I think this was a very important weekend because it was the battle of the two people that Reddit wants DeMonte to replace. It was Ika versus Ryoma, the two players that everyone said, oh, they need, why is DeMonte not starting? Why is Paul Belter not starting? Why are these two unknown players from, you know, an outside region being started? And I think Ryoma, you know, he's whole, he held his own, he beat, he destroyed Ika, and I think he's improving. I think he's a 20-year-old kid. He has a lot of raw mechanical talent, and I think Papa Smith, he sees that in him. I think he knows that in time, Ryoma can grow up to be one of the better mid laners in the league, similar to Aniski, who came over here as a young player on Envy. He had flashes of brilliance, but it's only been two, three years down the line where he's finally, you know, peaked into that, you know, superstar player that people thought he could become. So, good weekend for uh, 100 Thieves and a good weekend for Ryoma. So, uh, 100 Thieves have a very, very tough week. Flashy actually mentioned it. What's up, Flashy? Uh, in the chat, C9 and FlyQuest next week. FlyQuest on Monday Night League, C9. The true test. Yeah, I mean, if, if there was ever a time to say, okay, 100 Thieves had a good week last week, 2-0, and but now coming up, I mean, now, now show us what you got, right? With C9 and FlyQuest who are battling for a top position and already yep. in the top three. Now let's see what 100 Thieves has got. What's up, everybody? Ardo Ocal here with ESPN Esports. Be sure to watch the Rift Rewind, an ESPN League of Legends show, every single Monday night, 6.30 p.m. Eastern, 3.30 Pacific, on Twitch, the ESPN app, YouTube, and Twitter.